One of the best features of Gmail or Google Apps for Work are filters and labels. Due to the length of this topic, we've broken down this video into three separate segments. In this first part, we'll cover what filters and labels are and how they compare to traditional outdated folders that most of you may be used to. See, back in the old days, we used to use programs known as email clients, such as Microsoft Outlook, Apple Mail, Eudora, and all of those programs dealt with something called folders. For example, let's assume that in Microsoft Outlook, you created a folder called friends. If I sent you an email, that email would land in your Microsoft Outlook inbox. If you wanted to, you could move that email into your friends folder. But once you did that, it was no longer in your inbox. In other words, that email couldn't be kept in more than one place or more than one folder. But what if you wanted my email in your inbox, as well as your new folder friends, as well as in another folder called business? You couldn't do it. Not only that, but if you wanted to search for an email, you first had to go to the folder that the email was in and performed a search from that specific folder. Talk about a pain in the butt. In 2007, when Gmail was first introduced, Google engineers got together and said, let's get rid of this awful folder based way of managing emails. And they came up with something brand new. Hence, labels were born. Right now we're logged into a Google account and we're staring at our Gmail inbox. This section to the left is the label list area where labels are displayed. If you think of labels as traditional folders, you'll completely miss the concept of labels. Instead, what I want you to do is to think of labels as sticky notes or post-it notes. These sticky notes are what you assign to an email. And just like sticky notes, you can attach more than one label, more than one sticky note, to a particular email. To better explain this, I'm going to show you two things at once. How to create filters and how to create labels. Filters are a great way of telling Gmail what to do when someone sends you an email. To make this easy, let's find an email from someone who sends us a lot of emails. And by the way, this is a sample Google account which contains a lot of emails in it. You know, prior to making this video, we signed up to receive emails from a lot of different online sources. Since Fox News ugh, has been sending us a lot of emails, we're going to create both a filter and a label to better manage them. So focus your attention to this section up here. If we were to select an email by clicking on the checkbox to the left of this email, you'll notice that we have a bunch of new buttons or options show up. There are two ways to see these options or these buttons. The first is to select the checkbox next to an email as I just did. And the other is to simply click on the email itself. Let's go back so I can show it to you this way. Now that I have this email selected, I'll click on this button titled more. Next, I'll click on filter messages like these. This next screen is where the magic really begins. This is where we can perform a query that will be the basis of our filter. In this from field, you can see that Gmail has already pre-populated this field with the reply email address of the person or the company who sent it. In this case, it's foxnews at newsletters.foxnews.com. So in this first step, we're basically saying, okay, Google, from this moment forward, if I ever receive any more emails from this exact email address, then do something. And by the way, this is where you can get really creative. You could perform a query or a search based on any number of unique criteria. For example, if any emails get sent to, or if any emails have this word in the subject field, or if any emails have the word Viagra or don't have words and so on. I'll leave this up to you to explore, but for right now, we're going to keep it really simple and leave things as is. So if any emails come from this email address, next, I'll click on the link titled create filter with this search. In this next step is where we tell Gmail what to do. We could have these emails automatically skip the inbox. We could automatically have them marked as red and so on. For this example, we'll keep it simple, but what we will do, however, is apply the label, apply the sticky note. 
Next, we need to choose the label by clicking here. Since we don't already have a label we'd like to use, we'll need to create one by clicking on New Label. Next, I'll give this label a name. This could be anything you want. So let's go ahead and call it Fox News. We'll go over nesting labels later in another tutorial. For now, I'll click on this Create button. Once we've created or assigned a label, we're taken back to this previous window. Since we never want their emails treated as spam, we'll also select this Never Send It to Spam checkbox as well. And by the way, I don't know if you caught this on your screen, but back here in this area behind this window, Google is already performing the results to our filter or our query. Since I already have a bunch of emails which match this filter already in my inbox, I'll also elect to click on this checkbox titled Also Apply Filter to Matching Conversations. Now would be a great time to also bring up another important thing to know about Google. Google doesn't call emails emails. Instead, emails are referred to as conversations. The reason I'm calling them emails is because it's a lot easier to explain this to you. We'll discuss conversations and how they work in another tutorial. For now, however, I want to make sure that this filter that we're creating also gets applied to any emails that we've already received. The last step is to click on this Create Filter button. Now, depending on how many emails you're applying a filter to will determine how long it takes to process a request. Generally, it only takes seconds. As soon as we're finished, we're taken back to our inbox. Now, if we look at our inbox, we can see that the label titled Fox News has been applied to all the emails which match the filter we created. So, what I've just shown you is how to create a filter and how to have Google automatically apply a label to new and existing emails. If we take a look over here to the left-hand side to our label list area, we see all our labels, including the label called Fox News that we just created. Clicking on this label displays all emails which have the label titled Fox News applied to it. So to put it another way, by clicking on this Fox News label, we're simply asking Gmail to display any and all emails which have the sticky note of Fox News. But this isn't where the true power of filters and labels kick in. We'll save that for the next video in this series.